wheel. The color wheel is very important for all artists to know. So today we are going to start talking about some of the basics of the color wheel. Now, by basics, I don't mean everything you see right here on this image. On this image you see all of the six basic colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, also known as violet. But you also see the tertiary colors, which are yellow green, yellow orange, red orange, red violet, blue violet, and blue green. These colors are mixtures of the primary and the secondary colors. But we're not going to talk about these tertiary colors today. We're just going to stick with the six basics. So first, we're going to start with the primary colors. The primary colors are natural colors that you see in the everyday world. These colors are red, blue, and yellow. And these colors are mixed into the secondary colors, which are purple or violet, orange, and green. So let's see how that works. Next you have the complementary colors. Now, the complementary colors are directly opposite of one another on the color wheel. So you have red and green, purple and yellow, and blue and orange. Now, the reason these combinations are so important is because, like the title, they complement each other. And by complementing each other, I mean that they bring out the best in one another. So when you put them next to each other on a picture, you're going to be able to see, for example, a brighter yellow or even a darker purple. But when you mix complementary colors together, they do the opposite. They actually cancel each other out and come to a neutral color. After that, we have the analogous colors. Unlike the complementary colors, the analogous colors are next to each other on the color wheel. Out of the six basic colors, the different combinations of analogous colors are red, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, green, yellow, green, blue, green, blue, and purple, blue, purple, and red, and then purple, red, and orange. The reason that analogous colors are so important is because they set the mood for the picture that you're creating. For example, the two most well-known sets of analogous colors are red, orange, and yellow, and then green, blue, and purple. So the warm and the cool colors. If you use red, orange, and yellow in a drawing or painting, that piece of artwork is going to look a lot more bright and it's going to look fun and happy. If you use green, blue, and purple in your drawing or painting, you can make the image look sad or melancholy or even a little bit cold. Those are some of the basics of the color wheel. I hope that you use what you learned here today and go out and create some very colorful pieces of artwork of your own. Thank you! Mm -hmm.